Mr Speaker. I understand this is a split call. I call Joe Luxton. Uh, tēnā koe, te mana whakawā, tēnā koutou, nā te rangi, tēnā tātou, katoa. It's my privilege to be able to stand and take a call on the Ngāti Rangi Claim Settlement Bill in its first reading. I want to acknowledge the Honourable Chris Finlayson and the Honourable um, Andrew Little for the work that they have done in um, getting this uh, settlement bill uh, to the House. Key principles, one of the key principles within the treaty is partnership. And as my colleague and previous speaker, Hare Tehi Pango, has said, today is a day of reflection. And I am reflecting on what partnership means. Partnership is about communication. Is it about, it's about acting in good faith, and it is about trust. There are clear examples in history where the Crown did not communicate, did not act in good faith, and broke trust with Ngāti Rangi. Two examples uh, of this for example, uh, the land that was taken on Rupehu, taken without consultation and certainly without compensation, and the precious, waterway, the precious waterways within the Rohi that were diverted for a power scheme, again, without consultation. While a settlement by no means compensates Ngāti Rangi for all they've suffered, for all the hurt, and for all they have lost, this bill, however, is an important part of the process of repairing and strengthening the relationship between the Crown and Ngāti Rangi going forward in the future. Madam Speaker, I'm not going to take up any further time uh, with this and hold this process up because I know that this is an important, important, um, important process that we really need to get moving so it can get to select committee and follow the process there and, and end up at third reading in the House in the near future. And I look forward to seeing that happen. And I absolutely commend this bill to the House. Tēnā koe e te mana whakawā. Kia ora, I call Dan Bidwa. Tēnā koe.